Hello everybody, it is Magma and welcome back to this LEGO Star Wars Limited Edition review. Um, so here we're, we're having a LEGO Star Wars set uh, being reviewed. This is a set from back from uh, 2005. This is set 7257, uh, 282 pieces. It is ages 7 plus and it is titled The Ultimate Lightsaber Duel. Um, I'm going to quickly give you guys a look at the box. Um, so yeah, this is what the box would look like. Um, so yeah, um, I don't have the box. Uh, I bought this off uh, eBay, obviously, um, for a good price actually. Bought it for I think it was uh, fifty. No wait, yeah, something around thirty to forty dollars. Um, this set originally did retail for um, thirty-five dollars or thirty. I'm not sure. Retail price will be in the description below. And 2005, for you guys who do not know, was the first year when, when they had um, limited edition sets. So, for example, the uh, Ultimate Space Battle was a Target exclusive. Um, this, I'm not too sure, I think it was... I don't know whether it was a... Um, I, yeah, I think this was a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, not too sure there, you guys can correct me. Um, but this was the first year where we had these exclusive for the shops. And this was, I think, a Toys R Us exclusive. And um, this was not the easiest to get. So, yeah. Um, so this set is pretty exclusive, as, as I just mentioned. Um, it's not very hard to... You can actually get those for decent prices because it's not um, too big and stuff. But the minifigures are uh, worth, worth something and pretty cool. So, um, these are both light up. There is only... A light up version of this, there is no non light up version, as far as I know. Um, here we have Obi Wan, so uh, it's the same we've got in the chase thing. Uh, it's pretty cool, I have to say. So, yeah, and there we go. So, yeah, um, so uh, when you press his head, obviously the lightsaber will um, turn on. I'm trying to show you guys that. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. On um, his lightsaber, his hand is uh, molded into the lightsaber, so you cannot remove it. Um, what you can remove is this. So yeah, this little piece. Um, and you can remove the saber, and you can change it to another color. And that other color, um, whichever. Uh, if you put red, then it will turn on red. If you put um, Green will turn on green, um, and same for uh, all other colors. So, yeah. so that's his legs, his back. You cannot re remove uh, the head, um, but um, there are tutorials on YouTube to uh, remove this little plate back here to be able to access and change the batteries. And um, next it is Anakin. Um, he he's almost out of battery. I don't even think you guys can tell from the camera. Um, that it turns on, so it's turning on right now. So yeah, it's uh, almost impossible to tell for him um, whether it's on or off. So I need to find a way to get the new batteries. They're not e they're not hard to find, but they're not the easiest either. So yeah. And all about the batteries, you guys can check that out. There are tutorials, plenty of tutorials on YouTube, and information. Um, in uh, yeah, YouTube, you just search how to change, um, how to remove or change battery on light up uh, minifigures. I think it's LU light up lightsaber, LULP or something like that. I don't know. Not too sure about that. But you can take ten minutes and find out how to do that. None of the heads are removable, so the capes, uh, you're going to have to take care of, the, of those capes, because otherwise, um, they're not going to be the, they're going to easily get uh, in not the best condition, and you're going to have to keep them there. So, yeah. Um, so, I don't have the box, so as you guys can tell in the background, I've put in the instruction manual. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, as accessories, we have this. Accessories-wise, um little platform thing and the thing about this set is what you want to do is you want to take your um your this I guess I'm not too sure let me try to zoom in on that um so yeah 
You want to take this, as you guys can tell, um, it, the thing turns. Um, I'll show you how it turns in a second. Um, so you just put Anakin onto this thing, or Obi-Wan, whichever you want. This set is, is like a play set, so well, it is a play set and you're supposed to play with uh, someone else. So it's kind of inconvenient um, if you're looking to just uh, use it for stop motion, but you can remove these uh, pretty easily, you just have to remove this this piece um, this piece from this one and here's an outer look so you guys can see how the effect works um, I can push this forward or backwards and Anakin will go forward or backward and I can turn this and um, by turning it sideways it's gonna make this piece over here turn so it's gonna work like so like so So I don't know if you guys can tell. Well, yeah, that's how it works, and you can just go and like this and fight Obi Wan. And uh, I'm not too good at it. So like this, backstab him. There we go. And um, the thing is, there is another one for Obi Wan, so it's not like the 2013 Dual on Genosis. Um, there are two of them in this set, which is the biggest advantage. And um, as you guys can tell, um, there are platforms here, so what you want to do is you want to swing, um, move from platform to platform and attack Obi-Wan, like so, or uh, you want to move, stay on these uh, things. So everything is connected and there is a way like so to move without falling into the lava. Um, and you can uh, play around in this little part that I'll show you in a second. You can use your little... Um, and you know, you can jump like so and move on here. Then you jump back and you fail and you fall into the lava, or you continue and you get rid of Obi Wan. Now, there are a lot of tricks in this set, such as um, these red panels right here. So, yeah, I'll just. Um, so, what you want to do with the red panels is you want to use Anakin to like, take them down, or th these red things, and like so, and I can't do it, sorry. So what you what the what they're supposed to do is um you're supposed to be able to put your lightsaber here and flick them down just like in the movie. All three of them do flick down like so. So yeah, for those of you who haven't had a clear look, so you want to use all these traps to fight against your enemy to play around. Um, you want to like one once he's like right underneath it, you just want to like flick this down like so, and then you die for some reason. I don't know. So that's the play feature um, of Anakin and Obi-Wan, so that's a very, very cool thing. So yeah, and um, again, the same system for flicking with the, um, the same system is applied right here. Um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to flick this uh, with your lightsaber, and keep your eye out on this top part, because when I flick this, it doesn't work really well, but the thing is, inside this little container, this little container up there. Um, what you do have, excuse me, there we go, are uh, these little pieces right here. So you want to flick that, and little um, lava pieces will fall down. So I guess that's cool. There we go. Now it works. So yeah, and you can just put it back up like so. Put your lava inside. Flick it with your lightsaber while you're fighting your enemy, and. Um, eventually they will all fall down like so. Um, so that's very very cool for me anyway. Um, what you can do is also you can um, have your uh, figures go up like this to this little part right here and move all the way up to here if you want to do that. You can do that. Um, it's not the easiest but you can do that. So yeah. Take a camera and show you guys around the set a bit better. It's very hard to explain and ex show you guys the set, so um, let me try to do that in a better way. There we go. So, you, so yeah, um, these rods get all the time in the way, so if you don't want to play with that, you can just remove it uh, from the set like so, and then you just get rid of this entire thing right here, and you can move that aside. So yeah. And then you don't have to care about that anymore. So that's a very cool 
well, a very easy thing to do. Um, here is a little feature I showed you guys. So yeah, that's the set from better angle view, I think. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this last part. Um, it's a piece that's in the set, exclusive to the set only. I don't think there's been another another place where this piece has been known to be in. And um, it is uh, this one. I'm not too familiar with too much about it. I just know that it's um, very hard to get, expensive. And um, as far as I've been told, it is exclusive to this set. So um, it's a very very cool piece. So yeah. So you do get this piece, and um, it is used for decoration only. Just great, honestly. If I did not, well, I bought this when I was a bit young, um, by myself. I think it was one of the first sets, first sets that I bought off um, eBay by myself, like choosing the sets wise. So yeah. Um, as you guys can tell, this thing just fell off. Um, that's the problem with the set, um, is it's old and um, it's not the sturdiest, so it does fall off all the time. But hopefully, as I'm showing you guys right now, it is extremely easy to rebuild. So yeah. Um, so that's gonna be it, guys. The build is tough on this, so um, if you guys are of younger age, um, make sure you get someone's help for the build. Um, it, it's a tough build because it's very unclear, um, it's very hard to understand what's going on in the instruction manual, um, so yeah. So for me, um, who I'm a, a little bit older uh, now, um, I did rebuild this uh, before doing the review because it was all messed up and stuff, and I have to say, this was a tough build, so yeah. So, um, tough build because the uh, instructions are not clear, otherwise I, I'm pretty sure this is an easy build. So, so that's gonna be it guys, thank you guys for watching this review, remember to comment, share, rate and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you guys want more of these old reviews, please give it a big thumbs up. And, I hope to see you guys next time in another video. Bye bye.